Hello YouTube, welcome back. Chris here. Today I want to explain to you how a fluid trainer works. It's actually quite simple. Uh, this is a fluid trainer. This is a Saris Fluid 2. Great trainer. I've had it for two years now and uh, really happy with my purchase. The way it works is you back your bike into the trainer, lock it in, and this here is the tire contacting the drum. When that spins, it rotates the drum, rotating the flywheel or fan and then you have this large bulbous chamber on the other side. This is your fluid chamber. So the way this works is basically you're driving the drum, which has a rod, to another flywheel similar to this but different shaped inside this fluid chamber. And that's why they call it a fluid trainer. Now inside this chamber that's where the magic is happening. Inside this chamber you have a fluid. I don't know if it's necessarily oil or water. It's fairly thin. It's not super viscous. I do know that. Um, but what happens is that flywheel in there has a specific shape to it and it rotates inside that fluid. That's what provides the resistance for the trainer. Now, the reason that people like the ride of a fluid trainer over let's say a mag trainer is it simulates road conditions fairly accurate. Uh, what I mean by that is when you're riding a bike on the road it is fairly simple to accelerate from zero miles per hour up to let's say 10 or 12 miles per hour. It's a little bit more difficult to accelerate from 12 miles per hour to 15 miles per hour and it's a lot more difficult to accelerate from 15 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour. Uh, that is what this replicates. It's kind of like if you think about walking in a pool. You get in a pool of water. You can walk around fairly easy. You have resistance. It is harder than normal walking, but it's, it's not unbearable. But have you ever tried to run in a pool? it's not easy there's a lot of resistance so the faster you're trying to go the harder it makes it for it and that's exactly what's going on inside this drum as that flywheel spins it's easy to get it moving it's easy to get it up to a moderate speed as you want to get going to a higher and higher speed it gets progressively more and more difficult with no need for the rider to adjust the resistance on the trainer a lot of people think that you have to adjust the resistance, make this tighter, or shift gears. Well, this here is just designed to make the, the tire have good contact. Your resistance all comes from here. And the gears, yes, they can make it harder or easier to ride, but shifting your gears will relate to the amount of resistance this is putting out. I hope you liked that video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.